guys. So my setup is going to be a little bit different for this video, but this is a Q&A and I've been taking too long to get it done. And so now it's evening time. I'm having to use my studio light that I use for my business pharmacy. So um, sorry about the glare on the glasses, but I really wanted to get this filmed for you guys because recently on Instagram I asked you guys to ask me some questions and so basically this is going to be a life update because obviously a lot of you guys follow me because you're watching my healing journey and you know basically I love to give advice and I love to help people but ultimately this is my own story and I'm just living life and so you know I do, like I said, I do give recommendations and I'd be like, hey, this works or this didn't work so great for me. But the thing is, in the grand scheme of everything, what I've learned over the last three and a half years is that something that works for somebody may not work for somebody else. You know, um, it depends on how severe certain symptoms are and whatnot. So, so just keep that in mind. This is my own little story and I'm just chatting about it. So I am going to get into, I got... A good a handful of really good questions that I want to um, answer. Okay, the very first one was, does the change in weather affect triple PD? Now, for those of you that don't know, I officially right away was diagnosed with triple PD and my newest diagnosis of vestibular migraine along with triple PD. So um, let's, Needless to say, I've learned a lot about both, but I'm going to just keep this very basic and very simple. And to me personally, they're very similar. And um, there's just a couple little different things with each one. But I don't really want to go into the difference because um, I actually had one of the doctors, top-notch doctors, explain the difference to me. But in my opinion, I... I do, because I know for sure if you have vestibular migraine, the weather definitely affects how I feel. Um, for sure, humidity makes a difference for me, um, along with a lot of others that deal with vestibular migraine. Now, with triple PD, I, I'm not going to say no, because before I even got the VM diagnosis, I noticed, you know, but little bit, it's hard because I didn't know I had both. You know, so basically I I wouldn't doubt that it would because the thing is when your sensory system is so goofed up, I could see that happening. I'm not an expert, but I would bet it would. So I'm going to move on because I don't know how else to answer that, but I'm thinking yes, it would to some degree. Okay, the next question, how to keep calm on vacation? Well, first of all, I do have a couple of videos where I talk about flying. So I'm just going to give you that part in a nutshell, really condensed version. As far as when I fly, I swear by my oils, ginger and then peppermint on certain parts of my body. I, I used to do that before I even got sick with these diagnoses. I used to have severe motion sensitivity. And so those oils helped me even before... It, it, let's just say it got way worse. So I swear by those and also um, I do have Ativan to help me fly because the thing is like the doctors have told me too there's nothing wrong with keeping your your system and your nervous system as calm as possible because you don't want to always be triggered and so hey if I want to get somewhere I have no shame in taking it and the doctors trust me with it so I do take it um, I have a, the smallest dose you can possibly take and so for me it doesn't even really do much it kind of just takes the edge off a little bit um, it doesn't make me sleepy or anything it just makes me feel kind of just normal to be honest and distractions oh my gosh I have to be distracted I have to have certain snacks I make sure I have plenty of water um, I used to um, do one of those coloring books and I would color like the adult coloring books but on this last trip when I went to Tahoe my son let me borrow his switch because I can handle phones way better now and electronics and so um, he put Animal Crossing on there and I had a lot of fun and no joke the whole like both flights there and back that's all I did was play Animal Crossing no shame it distracted me and before I knew it I was at my destination and all was well um, so and the thing is one other thing you know I've been 
I've accumulated, like I've pr not accumulated, like I've done a lot of practicing, let's put it that way. Cause I, the thing is you guys are seeing me, a lot of you guys are just seeing me now. Like I look like I'm functioning good, like things are well, but the thing is none of you saw me my first year. That was before I did YouTube. I was very unwell. I couldn't even walk guys. Like I was in the same boat as a lot of you. And so you guys need to also remember I was at that state at one point where everything was super severe. All the, 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 um, the sensory issues were like a hundred plus, like they were through the roof and on every level. And so, um, it's, it's been a process of learning a lot of things. And those of you that have followed my journey, you guys know all the avenues that I've done to get me to the point where I'm at today. Neuroplasticity is a huge part of that. So I, I incremental train all the time. I have videos where I've talked about that, but I do things to get me out of my comfort zone so my brain can remember that it's normal. It's uncomfortable, yes, but the more you do it, the easier it will get. Um, so I don't wanna touch on that too much longer, but that's how come I'm able to do certain trips now. But just so you guys know, I'm not like living it easy and like everything is awesome while I'm on my vacations. No, I do have hiccups. I do have moments of where I'm unwell, but overall I, re I always try to remember to stay grateful because that I can even do it. Because three years ago, I thought I was never gonna be normal again. And I am living proof that that's not true because I haven't proved and I do plan on healing from this completely. So moving on, um, supplements. Somebody asked me about my supplements again. I'm just going to run through them really quick. If I miss one, I'm sorry, but I tried to jot down. If I look down, I, I took notes so it wouldn't be such a long video. Um, I take Dr. Bay's suggested um, supplements for vestibular migraine. So I take the B2, the CoQ10, magnesium, vitamin D, and I also have to take iron because I'm iron deficient. And I, along with that, I also take vitamin C. I also, um, through my um, upper cervical chiropractor, he suggested an adrenal um, supplement for me along with an herbal calm supplement. And I swear, shoot, I'm missing one. I have it in other videos. If I remember, I will try to list in the description all the supplements and exactly the dosage of them that I take as well. Um, being we're talking about medicine, I'll answer this question. Another question, somebody said, have any medicines helped um, work tremendously for the brain or your symptoms? Like, really great. Um, like, they emphasize that. Um, for me, no. Um, like a lot of people with these diagnoses, um, you know, they want to try SSRIs or SNRIs and I have tried a handful and was unsuccessful time after time after time. I think the longest that I made it was on Lexapro. Um, but unfortunately it did it, it helped with the anxiety component, but it didn't help with my symptoms. And so... Um, you know, so that was unfortunate. But the thing is, I know that certain medications actually do help certain people. And that's the thing is we're, we're the same, but we're different, you know? And, and, um, so for me, no, personally, they have not, um, the Ativan, I'll be honest, helps me. But as most of you know, benzos are not recommended long-term. They're basically can be used occasionally or um, for just like difficult situations or if, say if you were to have a panic attack or something like that. So, um, but yeah, they are definitely not meant for long term. Uh, let's see, what other questions? Um, gosh, I'm actually going through these pretty quick, which I, I wanted to do. So, um, I talked about supplements, keep calm on vacation, change of weather, other meds. And then overall, somebody asked me how I'm doing and any symptoms that I've been having. Okay, so to bring you up to date with the current situation, um, if, like I said, it's hard because like, I try to keep it even on both Instagram and on YouTube here, what my current statuses are of what I'm doing. But um, upper cervical care has been the biggest key for me um i've said this so many times already not only 
do I notice a difference from getting my upper, upper cervical adjustments, but my family and friends and people around me. Last week at church, I had this older gentleman, like he's he's an elderly person from our church and and he's very few with words and he came up to me and he he just said and we don't talk all the time and because the thing is when somebody is chronically ill you can even you can tell you know even though sometimes you can't tell if that makes sense it's like it's invisible but yet it's not because you know people can pick up on if they're around you enough if you're unwell and this this gentleman came up to me and he said he i can't remember his exact words but it was just something so simple and he's like basically he's like you you have a spark back to you 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 look like your spirit's alive and i just about i was tearing up he was almost tearing up because that's huge when people start seeing the change in you and they they see you cuz this guy um he he came to our church even before I got sick and you can tell he's one of those people that he really observes people and is really watching and it was just that was powerful guys and and I don't take things like, like that lightly at all so so basically upper cervical I do go on a weekly basis I tried to go two weeks here recently and this last week honestly I didn't I'm not doing as great and and it's interesting because even my husband was like did you go this week i'm like no we were trying to make it two weeks in between um visits so unfortunately on the pocketbook it's not the greatest thing but like my husband says he's like this is actually helping you like we've seen the most drastic improvement um with doing this than we have over the last three years and so but the thing is i'm consistently going and he not only does the adjustments but he also implements um neuroplasticity so while i'm in there there's no like whoa is me there's no like focusing on all the icky symptoms we are all about like healing and like in my mind i'm like god is good this adjustment is making my body better so it's a great thing so basically i'm just going to read off some of the things i wrote here um i have still less headaches um i've been seeing this guy for going on a couple of months now still i i don't have hardly any headaches or migraines anymore um way more joy way more energy still like i'm doing stuff constantly guys um i just overall feel better way less fatigue way less um also on a side note so i don't forget so i got these new lenses i talked about them recently i only have one prism in here versus three that i've had for the last you know couple of years and i no longer have rose colored tint and i'm actually doing really well my eyes have adjusted so well um light sensitivity doesn't even to be seem to be so severe my gosh i have this huge box light on me right now and it's not triggering me guys so god is good my body is healing and things are going well so um what else can i say but i have to say i feel like in conjunction with upper cervical care i a hundred percent believe though that the supplements also are helping me in conjunction with that um because the thing is my iron and ferritin levels were tanked like they were tanked a couple years ago and then i kind of built them back up but then they shot back down like my ferritin was a three guys so i don't know if you guys know much about that but um it can cause a lot of unpleasant symptoms and so so the thing is i'm also pro like if you guys still if you feel like something's still off there's nothing wrong with going and getting your labs done have them check your iron have them check your vitamin d your b12 um magnesium zinc get those things checked out your thyroid kind of rule out some other things um because you don't know maybe you're deficient in something so um i think i'm gonna wrap this up you know things are good guys i i'm just because somebody did ask though do i have symptoms yes i still have symptoms um dizziness is now a background noise like it's pretty rare when i have a 
bad dizzy spell the biggest thing that we're still working on are is my eyes and my perception um but for me and my prism journey with these glasses they've taken time um and you know my um, neuro eye doctor and I were just gonna keep an eye on it and see how things are going but my eyes are, and my brain are responding really well to these glasses so the thing is I want to say that I'm gonna end it this way and know that I love you guys okay um because the thing is even doctors say the same thing as I'm about to say to you I'm gonna start this way first. When I first got sick, I didn't think this was ever gonna end. And I still wonder when the day is gonna come, all the time. Like, I dream about that day. Like, I can't, I don't even know what, I'm, what it's gonna be like. I just don't know, you know? But I anticipate it and I am excited for it because I know what's gonna happen. Um, those of you that think you can't get better from this, it's not true. And my number one advice to you is first having faith that it can get better because even doctors believe you can get better from this. And ultimately, I am for the most part doing it without medication um, as far as an SSRI goes. And the thing is, it's possible, I, I don't, think I'm gonna be like this the rest of my life I've made huge um, improvements in just the last couple of months and the thing is my brain is gonna figure this out and the thing is you got to have hope you need to have faith that things can and will get better and don't believe that this is how your life's gonna be for your whole life because I hate to say it if you believe that and if you believe that in your heart your body and your brain are gonna to respond to that. And, you know, I don't want you like that. You don't want yourself like that. So the first step is you gotta fight for yourself and and do what you need to do to, whether you're at the beginning and you just need to get out of bed, you need to just get up and get out of bed. Take a one minute walk up to the living room do whatever you got to do every single day you got to make strides to get yourself better because God did not create it create us to be sick he did not create us to suffer every day and that is always my prayer for you guys and myself as well so I love you guys um, if you have any questions because I know I kind of rambled through all this stuff really quick please comment down below or you can follow me over on Instagram at newlifesparrow23 but I love you guys know that you can get better from this i'm improving and before i know it i know i'm gonna be better so i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time bye